The Chemical Weapons Convention (CWC) is an arms control treaty that outlaws the production, stockpiling, and use of chemical weapons and their precursors. The full name of the treaty is the Convention on the Prohibition of the Development, Production, Stockpiling and Use of Chemical Weapons and on their Destruction and it is administered by the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW, an intergovernmental organization based in The Hague, the Netherlands. The treaty entered into force on 29 April 1997. The Chemical Weapons Convention prohibits the large-scale use, development, production, stockpiling and transfer of chemical weapons. Very limited production for research, medical, pharmaceutical or protective purposes is still permitted. The main obligation of member states under the convention is to effect this prohibition, as well as the destruction of all current chemical weapons. All destruction activities must take place under OPCW verification. As of May 2018, 193 states have become parties to the CWC and accept its obligations. Israel has signed but not ratified the agreement, while three other UN member states Egypt, North Korea and South Sudan have neither signed nor acceded to the treaty. Most recently, the State of Palestine deposited its instrument of accession to the CWC on 17 May 2018. In September 2013 Syria acceded to the convention as part of an agreement for the destruction of Syria's chemical weapons. As of November 2018, 96.62% of the world's declared chemical weapons stockpiles had been destroyed. The Convention has provisions for systematic evaluation of chemical production facilities, as well as for investigations of allegations of use and production of chemical weapons based on intelligence of other state parties. Some chemicals which have been used extensively in warfare but have numerous large-scale industrial uses such as phosgene are highly regulated, however, certain notable exceptions exist. Chlorine gas is highly toxic, but being a pure element and extremely widely used for peaceful purposes, is not officially listed as a chemical weapon. Certain state powers e.g. the Assad regime of Syria continue to regularly manufacture and implement such chemicals in combat munitions. Although these chemicals are not specifically listed as controlled by the CWC, the use of any toxic chemical as a weapon when used to produce fatalities solely or mainly through its toxic action is in and of itself forbidden by the treaty. Other chemicals, such as white phosphorus, are highly toxic but are legal under the CWC when they are used by military forces for reasons other than their toxicity. History Intergovernmental consideration of a chemical and biological weapons ban was initiated in 1968 within the 18-nation disarmament committee, which, after numerous changes of name and composition, became the Conference on Disarmament in 1984. On 3 September 1992 the Conference on Disarmament submitted to the UN General Assembly its annual report, which contained the text of the Chemical Weapons Convention. The General Assembly approved the convention on 30 November 1992, and the UN Secretary General then opened the convention for signature in Paris on 13 January 1993. The CWC remained open for signature until its entry into force on 29 April 1997, 180 days after the deposit of the 65th Instrument of Ratification by Hungary. 
The convention augments the Geneva Protocol of 1925 for chemical weapons and includes extensive verification measures such as on-site inspections. It does not, however, cover biological weapons. Topic: <laughs> Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons (OPCW). The convention is administered by the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW, which acts as the legal platform for specification of the CWC provisions. The Conference of the State's Parties is mandated to change the CWC and pass regulations on implementation of CWC requirements. The Technical Secretariat of the organization conducts inspections to ensure compliance of member states. These inspections target destruction facilities where permanent monitoring takes place during destruction, chemical weapons production facilities which have been dismantled or converted for civil use, as well as inspections of the chemical industry. The Secretariat may furthermore conduct investigations of alleged use of chemical weapons and give assistance after use of chemical weapons. The 2013 Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to the organization because it had, with the Chemical Weapons Convention, "...defined the use of chemical weapons as a taboo under international law." According to Thorbjorn Jagland, chairman of the Norwegian Nobel Committee. Topic: <laughs> Key points of the convention. Prohibition of production and use of chemical weapons. Destruction or monitored conversion to other functions of chemical weapons production facilities. Destruction of all chemical weapons, including chemical weapons abandoned outside the state party's territory. Assistance between state parties and the OPCW in the case of use of chemical weapons. An OPCW inspection regime for the production of chemicals which might be converted to chemical weapons. International cooperation in the peaceful use of chemistry in relevant areas. Topic: Controlled substances. The convention distinguishes three classes of controlled substance: chemicals that can either be used as weapons themselves or used in the manufacture of weapons. The classification is based on the quantities of the substance produced commercially for legitimate purposes. Each class is split into Part A, which are chemicals that can be used directly as weapons, and Part B, which are chemicals useful in the manufacture of chemical weapons. Separate from the precursors, the convention defines toxic chemicals as a NY chemical which through its chemical action on life processes can cause death, temporary incapacitation or permanent harm to humans or animals. This includes all such chemicals, regardless of their origin or of their method of production, and regardless of whether they are produced in facilities, in munitions or elsewhere. Schedule 1 chemicals have few, or no uses outside chemical weapons. These may be produced or used for research, medical, pharmaceutical or chemical weapon defense testing purposes but production at sites producing more than 100 grams per year must be declared to the OPCW. A country is limited to possessing a maximum of one ton of these materials. Examples are sulfur mustard and nerve agents, and substances which are solely used as precursor chemicals in their manufacture. 
A few of these chemicals have very small scale non military applications, for example, milligram quantities of nitrogen mustard are used to treat certain cancers. Schedule II chemicals have legitimate small scale applications. Manufacture must be declared and there are restrictions on export to countries that are not CWC signatories. An example is thiodoglycol which can be used in the manufacture of mustard agents, but is also used as a solvent in inks. Schedule III chemicals have large-scale uses apart from chemical weapons. Plants which manufacture more than 30 tons per year must be declared and can be inspected, and there are restrictions on export to countries which are not CWC signatories. Examples of these substances are phosgene the most lethal chemical weapon employed in World War I, which has been used as a chemical weapon but which is also a precursor in the manufacture of many legitimate organic compounds e.g. pharmaceutical agents and many common pesticides, and triethanolamine, used in the manufacture of nitrogen mustard but also commonly used in toiletries and detergents, a treaty party may declare a «single small-scale facility» that produces up to one ton of Schedule I chemicals for research, medical, pharmaceutical or protective purposes each year, and also another facility may produce 10 kg per year for protective testing purposes. An unlimited number of other facilities may produce Schedule I chemicals, subject to a total 10 kg annual limit, for research, medical or pharmaceutical purposes, but any facility producing more than 100 g must be declared. The treaty also deals with carbon compounds called in the treaty, discrete organic chemicals the majority of which exhibit moderate high direct toxicity or can be readily converted into compounds with toxicity sufficient for practical use as a chemical weapon. These are any carbon compounds apart from long-chain polymers, oxides, sulfides and metal carbonates, such as organophosphates. The OPCW must be informed of, and can inspect, any plant producing or expecting to produce more than 200 tons per year, or 30 tons if the chemical contains phosphorus, sulfur or fluorine, unless the plant solely produces explosives or hydrocarbons. <laughs> Member states. Before the CWC came into force in 1997, 165 states signed the convention, allowing them to ratify the agreement after obtaining domestic approval. Following the treaty's entry into force, it was closed for signature and the only method for non-signatory states to become a party was through accession. As of May 2018, 193 states, representing over 98% of the world's population, are party to the CWC. Of the four United Nations member states that are not parties to the treaty, Israel has signed but not ratified the treaty, while Egypt, North Korea, and South Sudan have neither signed nor acceded to the convention. Taiwan, though not a member state, has confirmed that it complies with the treaty. <laughs> Key organizations of member states Member states are represented at the OPCW by their permanent representative. This function is generally combined with the function of ambassador. For the preparation of OPCW inspections and preparation of declarations, member states have to constitute a national authority. <laughs> World stockpile of chemical weapons 
A total of 72,304 metric tons of chemical agent, and 97 production facilities have been declared to OPCW. Treaty deadlines The treaty set up several steps with deadlines toward complete destruction of chemical weapons, with a procedure for requesting deadline extensions. No country reached total elimination by the original treaty date although several have finished under allowed extensions. Topic: Progress of destruction. As of October 2017, 69,610 of 72,304 (96.27%) metric tons of chemical agent have been verifiably destroyed. More than 57% million of chemical munitions and containers have been destroyed. Seven state parties, namely Albania, an unspecified state party believed to be South Korea, India, Iraq, Libya, Russia, and Syria, have completed the destruction of their declared stockpiles. The United States is in the process of destruction and scheduled to complete in 2023. The destruction of Libya's Category 1 chemical weapons was completed in 2014, destruction of its chemical weapon precursors was completed in November 2017, Japan and China in October 2010 began the destruction of World War II era chemical weapons abandoned by Japan in China by means of mobile destruction units and reported destruction of 35,203 chemical weapons. 75% of the Nanjing stockpile. Topic: <inaudible> Iraqi stockpile. The UN Security Council ordered the dismantling of Iraq's chemical weapon stockpile in 1991. By 1998, UNSCOM inspectors had accounted for the destruction of 88,000 filled and unfilled chemical munitions, over 690 metric tons of weaponized and bulk chemical agents, approximately 4,000 tons of precursor chemicals, and 980 pieces of key production equipment. The UNSCOM inspectors left in 1998. In 2009, before Iraq joined the CWC, the OPCW reported that the United States military had destroyed almost 5,000 old chemical weapons in open-air detonations since 2004. These weapons, produced before the 1991 Gulf War, contained sarin and mustard agents but were so badly corroded that they could not have been used as originally intended. When Iraq joined the CWC in 2009, it declared, Two bunkers with filled and unfilled chemical weapons munitions, some precursors, as well as five former chemical weapons production facilities. According to OPCW Director General Rogelio Ferta, the bunker entrances were sealed with 1.5 meters of reinforced concrete in 1994 under UNSCOM supervision. As of 2012, the plan to destroy the chemical weapons was still being developed, in the face of significant difficulties. In 2014, ISIS took control of the site. On the 13th of March 2018, the Director General of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons (OPCW), Ambassador Ahmet Uzumku, congratulated the government of Iraq on the completion of the destruction of the country's chemical weapons remnants. Topic Syrian destruction 
Following the August 2013 Ghouta chemical attack, Syria, which had long been suspected of possessing chemical weapons, acknowledged them in September 2013 and agreed to put them under international supervision. On 14 September Syria deposited its instrument of accession to the CWC with the United Nations as the depository and agreed to its provisional application pending entry into force effective 14 October. An accelerated destruction schedule was devised by Russia and the United States on 14 September, and was endorsed by United Nations Security Council Resolution 2118 and the OPCW Executive Council Decision ECM 33, Dec.1. Their deadline for destruction was the first half of 2014. Syria gave the OPCW an inventory of its chemical weapons arsenal and began its destruction in October 2013, two weeks before its formal entry into force, while applying the convention provisionally. All declared Category 1 materials were destroyed by August 2014. However, the Khan Shaken chemical attack in April 2017 indicated that undeclared stockpiles probably remained in the country. A chemical attack on Douma occurred on 7 April 2018 that killed at least 49 civilians with scores injured, and which has been blamed on the Assad government. Financial support for destruction Financial support for the Albanian and Libyan stockpile destruction programs was provided by the United States. Russia received support from a number of countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, the Netherlands, Italy and Canada, with some $2 billion given by 2004. Costs for Albania's program were approximately $48 million. The United States has spent $20 billion and expected to spend a further $40 billion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Known chemical weapons production facilities. Fourteen states' parties have declared chemical weapons production facilities CWPFs. One non-disclosed state party referred to as a state party in OPCW communications, said to be South Korea as of October 2017, all 97 declared production facilities had been deactivated and 91 have been certified as either destroyed 68 or converted 23 to civilian use. See also Topic. Related international law Australia Group of Countries and the European Commission that helps member nations identify exports which need to be controlled so as not to contribute to the spread of chemical and biological weapons 1990 U.S.-Soviet Arms Control Agreement General Purpose Criterion, a concept in international law that broadly governs international agreements with respect to chemical weapons Geneva Protocol, a treaty prohibiting the first use of chemical and biological weapons <laughs> Worldwide treaties for other types of arms Biological Weapons Convention Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons CCW Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty NPT Topic Chemical Weapons Chemical Warfare 
Weapons of mass destruction Tear gas Topic. Related Remembrance Day Day of Remembrance for all victims of chemical warfare <laughs>